Are farmers' markets healthier than grocery stores? Farmers market, they're the healthiest way to shop, right? Not so fast. Sure, browsing a farmers market is a great way to see what's local and in season. And a certified organic market is a fantastic place to shop. But a lot of farmers markets are actually scams for two reasons. Farmers market scam number one, just because they sell it at the market doesn't mean it's healthy. It's easy to see all that fresh looking produce and assume everything at the local market is healthy. But I've seen markets selling chips, sugary caramel corn, even donuts. All things that can lead to low energy, bad digestion, and even weight gain. So remember, just because they sell it at the farmer's market doesn't mean it's healthy. Now, my second farmer's market scam is a lot scarier and harder to avoid. It turns out some fruit and vegetable sellers are really cheating customers. Instead of selling farm fresh produce, they're buying up the same stuff the grocery store sells and reselling it at huge markup, all while claiming it's fresh picked, local, and even organic which is why I only recommend shopping at certified farmer's markets or grocery stores where food labeling is much more regulated. Healthiest foods at the farmer's market? Let's go to the farmer's market. Brussels sprouts. They are packed with antioxidants and rich in fiber, which is great for managing a healthy weight. I highly recommend making Brussels sprouts a regular side to your favorite meals, especially during the holidays when you need that healthy balance the most. And here we have pumpkin or squash, another holiday favorite. This might surprise you, but pumpkins are packed with lectins, pesky little plant nutrients that wreak havoc in our GI tracts. So I say pumpkins for holiday centerpieces or as decoration on the front porch. Unfortunately, lectins aren't just found in pumpkins. They're all over the place. And worst of all, they are present in many foods that we've been convinced are good for you. But I've learned that the key to helping smoother digestion, regularity, and successful weight management comes down to just one thing, choosing the right protein. Let's go buy protein. Now, for many, the obvious choice of protein would be some good old eggs, but you have to be careful there. I would recommend choosing pastured eggs. These are eggs that come from chickens that are allowed to roam free, eating their natural food along with some commercial feed. Alternately, you can go for omega-3 enriched eggs, which come from conventional chickens, except the feed is enriched with omega-3 source like flaxseed. Other kinds of eggs available have a higher chance of containing gut-destroying lectins, depending on what the chickens are fed. Let's see what we have here. Leeks. They are a fantastic source of dietary fiber as well as powerful vitamins and minerals. And they've got a bit of protein, too. Leeks are absolutely amazing at filling you up and keeping your hunger satisfied. They also contain a special prebiotic called inulin that supports the good bacteria in your gut. Kale, one of my favorites. Kale is full of antioxidant vitamins like C, K, and A. And it's a great source of calcium and potassium that are also crucial for healthy bodily function. It's one of the most popular and easy to find types of bitter greens. And it's really tasty, whether you eat it raw or cooked. When I'm shopping, I like to ask the farmer what their most bitter greens are. Then I buy those. Because like I say, more bitter, more better. Bitter tasting greens are the highest in polyphenols. These energy boosting micronutrients that help the body thrive. Okay, the last thing I always buy at the market, fresh herbs like basil, parsley, and mint. I always like to have fresh herbs on hand, not only for the nutrient content, but because they're a great way to increase flavor in a dish without loading your food with sugar, sodium, and other additives. In fact, after olive oil, fresh herbs may be my number one most used ingredient.